Once all the workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the bobbies do. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. How much is that one again? Thanks. Mind the closing doors, please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed Do into not. the lab. Turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Just grab the temperature he curve. He did it. I know he did. Your bat. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris. sneak past these gents without a fuss. Dr. Burlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then. I guess this is the latest the test for you. Yourself. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. A permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now.
remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir. But there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Burlock would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. is angry every day. Shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger. Right. I'm done fooling the- You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb! And he is angry every day. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Huh! <laughs> 
Was that supposed to be ironic? Just uh, watching the day go by. Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction, so it is non explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Stop. 
bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted. This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil. I'd better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know? She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? The King of X! The King of X! The King of X! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> Sunny's cod liver oil. It's the only reason I'm in this hideous place. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure.
the train, Arthur. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. This is where they flushed the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I'm not poison in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. Lovely weather. Right is right. Right is right. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. What's that? You're only making it harder. 
After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit, then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Oh. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and... They lived happily ever after. No! A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. We like to work, are we? I don't like trains, Arthur. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I... 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 I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? Who would talk to me when you're gone? Dad talks to you. Well, 
Oh, no, I suppose he doesn't really. Oh, he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. Ah, the parade. Just like I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day, right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station.